So we're here with the Flexible Circuit Technologies. So who are you? Mark Finstead, Senior Application Engineer. And who are you? Ward Bauer, Application Engineer. So uh, what are we looking at here? We're looking at flexible circuits that we make for all, all different types of industries. Medical, communications, uh, wearables, uh, tools, and just about anything you can think of, our circuits are going into it now. So how do you make a flexible circuit? How does it work? It's actually quite. A, it's actually made quite similarly to uh, rigid circuit boards. Only the substrate is different, so that it's flexible, so that it can either go back and forth like your flip phone or your disk drive, or it can compress, bend into different shapes in order to be inserted into the box that it controls. All right. Can we see some of these? Uh, so, what, where does this, does this go? Can you hold this, it up. This goes in. Uh, was was uh, part that went into the uh, Nike Fuel Band. So it, was a, so it was a wearable application. Some of our applications create heat. This was for a, uh, to heat a small area before uh, uh, an insulin injection. Right, what is this? This is an aircraft strobe. It so goes a, in an aircraft. Yes, it's a strobe. Lots of LEDs and uh, aluminum heat sink. All right, so are you busy with more and more flexible circuits? Yes, because every, everything is getting smaller and lighter, and so circuits that used to be able to go into a large controlling unit now have to be much smaller and or flex in order to be inserted into that device. So right. we're in this, essentially every industry now. Nice. So lots of stuff happening, and uh, flexible circuits. This, this has, has a mechanical stiffener on the outside in order to prevent this area here from flexing because you don't want your solder joints to flex very much or the solder joints could pop off. So that's why this is designed with a mechanical support.